Hello guys, this is Amel with one more tutorial for you. So I'm so excited because today we're going to be talking about getting a text from the user. So uh, as usual, don't forget to go to smartvania.com and um, well, let's begin. So go to file and new and now we have a new file. So save it to, the, to your desktop and the name is going to be reading text or reading strings from the or that ASM. So save it and as usual we have two se two sections that data that text. Data for all the data and text for all the instructions. In that text, as usual we want the main function or the main procedure. So just make a label and it's always good practice um, to um, tell the system the end of main. So tell the system Tell the system this is the end of main, the end of the main function, right? So how do we do that? Well, there's an instruction, and the instruction is load immediate, dollar sign v0, comma 10, and then execute. So this is just for good practice. If you don't do this, if you don't do this, and you call a function, then your program is going to behave at, uh, in a very weird way. It's going to be like doing recursion or it's going to be uh, like looping all over and over, uh, over and over again. So now we need, let's say I want to display a message to the user. So let me make a message. So give it a name uh, and then colon because this is a label. This is just like a variable in random access memory. And then the data type is going to be that ASCII Z, which is going to be text. And then the message is going to be hello. So uh, my program is going to take the, a name from the keyboard. So the user will type his name or her name. And then my program is going to say hello, uh, hello John or hello uh, Jane or something like that. So now we need a variable to store the user's input. So I'm going to say user input. And the user input, uh, what's the, the data type is going to be text. But I mean, I have to say that space. And this is just like declaring an array. But if you don't know what an array is, don't worry. But this is the data type that you need because uh, you want to specify that the user is going to enter characters. So uh, you need to specify how many characters the user is allowed to enter. So in my case, I'm going to allow the user to enter 20 characters. So I have a message that I want to display and I have a variable in random access memory that is going to hold, um, it's going to hold uh, the input from the user. So now I'm just going to get the input. So I'm going to say load immediate, the sign v0, comma 8. And this is the code, or this, this line of code, tell the system to prepare because now the system has to read uh, user's data or text or text from the user. So this is just the code to get user user input from, from the keyboard as text. So then we need to pass an argument to, to this system call. And we say load address, the sign is zero, comma user input. So we always have to pass the variable um, the address of the variable where we want to store the user's input. We always have to pass it to this, to A0. And then we need to say load immediate, the sign A1, comma 20. So we also have to tell the system the length, the maximum length of the, of the text. So in this case, 20 characters or 20 bytes, because remember that one character is one byte. And finally, we tell the system execute. So we say syscall. So this right here, let me make a comment. This is getting users input as text or getting text from the user. And now that I have the user input right here, I just want to display a message. 
and the message is right here, hello. So I'm going to say loading media dollar sign v0 comma 4 because that's the code to display text. And then I'm going to say load address dollar sign a0 comma message. And then Cisco. So this is going to display hello. But then I also want to display um, the name. So displays hello. But now I want to display the name. Displays the name. So right after hello. So I say loading me load immediate dollar sign v0 comma 4 load address dollar sign a0 comma and you know right now the address is going to be user input and finally Cisco. And then we can save run, assemble, execute. So you see right here, down here, you see that the cursor is blinking. So it's waiting for you to input data. So my name is Amel. And now I just press enter. Voila! Hello Amel. You can see it was waiting for me to input the data. So I enter the data Amel. And then when, once I press enter, uh, the new value was there saying hello Amel. So let me walk you one more time and you're gonna see. So we have two sections that data in that text, data for all the data or all the variables in random access memory and that text is gonna be for all the instructions. So we have our main label, so this is like our main function or main procedure because in MIPS we call them procedure. Um, and right here we have the system, we have to tell the system this is this is the end of the program. So we always should do this. It's not mandatory, but it, we always should do it. Why? Well, we should do it because we should do it because if we don't do it, then if we call a function, then it's going to be uh, infinite recursion. So this right here, this code is going to get the text from the user or text from the keyboard. So we have to specify a variable to hold to hold the text or the string and it has to be uh, of this data type, that space. And this is just like an array, an array of bytes. So then we have to say how long, we have to tell the system how, how big or how long the, 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 the space or how much space uh, the user is allowed to, to utilize. And then we say Cisco. Then we display the message. Uh, the code is uh, 4, to read is 8, to display is 4. And finally we display what we read from the user. So uh, this is the tutorial. Uh, it's working and well thank you for watching. Uh, next time I'm gonna have a, a better tutorial. So see you next time.